Welcome to Reflections for anyone looking for just a little bit of church. In today's gospel reading, Jesus references his father over 13 times. So let's focus this week on the father and then on our fathers. A reading from John's gospel. Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe in me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do. And in fact, will do greater works than these because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. Here ends the reading. Scripture comes alive for me on days when my life mirrors the reading. Today, I listen to the most frequently used scripture readings for funerals. In a week when I join with lifelong friends as they celebrate and remember their mom. And at the same time, I remember with my family the passing of Patty's dad, Joe, whose death followed my dad's death exactly two years ago. So three of the oak trees that I grew up with are fallen. And I'm saddened by the memories of each passing. But today's scripture is so upbeat whenever we face the loss of a loved one. Hope springs forth abundantly from the reading. Jesus' Father has prepared a place for each of those who have gone on before us, and Jesus has prepared one, one for us when we die. Indeed, if we believe that Jesus is in the Father and the Father is in him, we will know the way to this heavenly home. And the way includes following in Jesus' footsteps and doing the works that he does. And we will be able to do anything as long as it is done in Jesus' name. With a modicum of trust in Jesus, we will have an abundance of capabilities. We will be able to do anything. Whenever we are struggling with family deaths or health issues, or have major conflicts or challenges in our lives. 
Jesus and or one of his followers are there to help us. For wherever there is the healing of the sick, wherever there is reconciliation between people, wherever there is a sense of love amidst the darkness of evil, we can see the restorative and loving power of our triune God in the Holy Spirit, in Jesus, and in his Father. And I like to think that the oak trees of our lives, the saints who have gone on before, are also there to help guide us. They are our guardian angels keeping us out of harm's way and leading us into the ways of Christ. This week, I want each of us to remember one of our elders who have passed. Honor them by sharing what you most fondly remember them for. Present their God-given gifts in your actions and words this week. If your choice of an elder is a father or a mother, be like them, even more than you normally are. Use their sayings, use their wisdom, and do things that they like to do. It is good and right to honor our fathers and mothers, as well as the Father. We need to fully understand that we are in them, just as they are in us, just as Jesus is in the Father, and his Father is in him. Amen. <clears throat> Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This week's song choice is the hymn, Faith of Our Fathers, performed by Fountain View Academy. I sang it loudly when I heard it, honoring my dad and my father-in-law, Joe. I hope you enjoy it. God bless you. <laughs>